Cricketry on the Papare.com. I'm Russell Arnold. We are at Port Elizabeth, the venue of the famous heist. Sri Lanka winning the Test Series 2-0 here, an achievement which none others have uh, been able to achieve, especially teams from Asia. Well, different ball game, the confidence, the happiness, the joy that Sri Lanka felt in that series and straight after, it's long disappeared. We're back to the white ball format and the results, the performances and everything around it is chaos, just like it's been in the past. 3-0 already, so the series is gone, but there's a lot to play for because World Cup spots are up for grabs. What are Sri Lanka going to do going forward? These questions need to be answered and which, one, which of these players want to put their hands up. Some of them, they're playing their way out of a World Cup spot. And they're, for the younger players, here's an opportunity to play themselves in. I think there'll be changes tomorrow because not many players are showing that they want to be here. Not many players are taking the responsibility. So you're still searching and rightfully so. So I, I'd see a few changes in terms of uh, Niroshan Dikwella not playing. He's been throwing his wicket away far too often just not giving Sri Lanka the starts that they need. So if I was a selector, I'll be really looking at it. That means who's going to keep and who's going to open. Upul Taranga can slot in, experience, give him another go. He can keep and so can Kusal Pereira and Kusal Mendes. But yes, remember, Kusal Pereira is out of the series. He's done a hamstring and Sri Lanka going to be really depleted without him in the middle, over, middle overs. Kusal Mendes, I suspect, will take the glove. So now with Kusal Pereira not there, there's an opportunity for one of the younger guys, Angelo Pereira, maybe even Primal Pereira to come in there and replace a Pereira. Well, that's what we're used to, isn't it? Even with the spin, we've got to think, we need to have uh, wicket-taking options, but is it working? Lakshan Sandakan looks very stiff and not accurate, which is taking the game away from us. And Akila Dananjay also has not had that same impact. So do you go with the thought process of trying to contain the team? try and go with the mode of being uh, playing to a damage control mode whereby you're thinking okay let's try and restrict a team to 300 by dotting it up let's see where we can go from there and uh, uh, look to chase it down wickets at the top very very crucial Sri Lanka still seem to be throwing it away that's where maybe Upul Taranga if he gets through that period he's got the ability to go on and score a big hundred responsibility show your skills South Africa they're not going to be easy Yes, dead rubber, but unlike in Sri Lanka when it was 3-0 down, they're not going to experiment. They are getting themselves ready for the World Cup and the squad has been reinforced. So Sri Lanka have to get their A game out if they want to impress, if they want to compete and if they want to try and uh, get a game over South Africa so that they can get some confidence within them. Lasit Malinga has got his work cut out to try and motivate this lot. Looking at Durban, the effort in the field, it was all over the place. The lines and lengths were poor and then the energy levels in the field was also not up to scratch. Players didn't look like they wanted the ball. And when it comes to the batting, the big scores are not coming. They're just very happy to hit the ball. They're not able to build innings. So plenty of areas that Sri Lanka need to look on to. But where can it be solved? It's a simple equation. Take responsibility. Yes, it can. there can be rain. It's a, a, a ground where you experience a lot of wind. Don't look up. Neither not look at the pitch. It is different. Less grass. What is important is look inside. What have you got? Can you impress? Can you put your hand up? Can you compete? And can you say that you're an international cricketer? That's what's up to these lads. Hopefully, we'll have a better game tomorrow.